It is an historic day for the University of Arkansas and for the Southeastern Conference as well. SEC Commissioner Roy Kramer officially offered an invitation to join the SEC to Arkansas this afternoon, and in a unanimous 10 to nothing vote by the Arkansas Board of Trustees, it was accepted. Chancellor Ferritor, the Southeastern Conference proudly invites the University of Arkansas to be the 11th member of the Southeastern Conference. It was fairly early in the time that I became Chancellor. Uh, Frank knew that I knew very little about athletics. And he had briefed me and said at one point they were looking at, at uh, other conferences where the schools were more like us, where we might have, it might improve our recruiting. I, I think I was surprised uh, because the Southwest Conference was golden at that time. It had gotten where it never felt perfect in the Southwest Conference because it always felt like Texas dominated. Everybody, everybody else in the state went along with what they wanted. And so we always felt like the odd, the odd one out, you know, in the conference. The vote always went to <laughs> Texas schools, Arkansas, Texas schools, Arkansas. Revenue followed winning rather than being split among schools. And it always seemed to me that if you're going to build something, you have to be able to invest in everybody. And the Southwest Conference didn't have, didn't have that model. I was down in Fort Walton on vacation with faculty colleagues and pick up this local newspaper, the Fort Walton Beach Chronicle or whatever it was, and see that, that the Southeast Conference had decided to invite people. And I remember saying to, to one of my colleagues, history faculty member, I said, I got a summer in front of me, don't I? At that time, there was, as you well know, uh, there was a certain amount of feeling in Arkansas that they were sort of the outsider because everybody else in that conference, the old Southwest Conference, was a, a Texas school. We loved the Southwest Conference. It was good to us. And there were a lot of good memories that came out of that. But by the same token, there's another world out there that offers some more opportunity. We must make it a very marketable product and we must continue to expand our horizons in that area and the kinds of competitive arrangements that we are talking about now and bringing about will make that possible and I believe that very strongly. Frank and I met with, met with Roy Kramer and by then we had taken about six weeks worth of pulse of, of the state of Arkansas. Both Frank and I, I think, had come to the decision, the fans are okay with it, it makes sense to, to us, it will help us, it will help us in, in immeasurable ways, and we were honored. I mean, the SEC, come on, that's, 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 you're not talking chopped liver. But we walked out of that meeting having told Roy Kramer, we think we're gonna go with this. And Kramer was, you, you already know? I think the SEC at the time looked at Arkansas's men's basketball program and looked at you know our track and field program and, and what they could bring and add to the conference. And I think in a lot of our other sports we looked at, boy, joining the SEC would just raise all of our other sports to another level. So I, I you know, obviously I thought it was a good marriage. The, the table was, uh, so to speak, set. We had a conference call immediately after that Memphis meeting and uh, our our presidents were ready to extend that invitation that afternoon. You know, little did we know what all was coming, but I, I think we all felt the excitement and it, it was a quick decision, but I think, you know, I really think Coach Burrell saw what was coming. So did Dr. Ferriter and, and, you know, it was a quick, quick jump to happen. Um, it's impossible to, to project into the future uh, other than, than uh, we've got to go with what we feel is best and we certainly are going to feel some hurt somewhere down the line, but we don't know where it is right now. Well, one of the things that Bev asked about was the idea of taking the program where she had elevated it to, to take it to the next level. And I was pretty confident that I thought I could do that. And I had done my research about the Southwest Conference, and I felt we could have pretty immediate impact and was looking forward to the challenge at hand. So we loaded up the the family van and uh, I had two young daughters and uh, we headed uh, across the country to, uh, to Arkansas. 
Once we arrived, uh, we literally followed the moving truck into uh, our home, our new home, and uh, pulled up and parked, and all of a sudden this vehicle pulls up behind me and Bev gets out. And I'm like, this is really uh, pretty amazing. The, the hospitality of, of this town and this university is pretty special. So she walks up, how was the trip? Super excited to see us. Um, and then she came to me and said, do you have a tie? And I looked at her with somewhat of uh, curiosity and amazement. Uh, I have a tie, but it's inside that big truck. Um, why do I have to have a tie? I just got here. And she goes, uh, we're having a, an announcement tomorrow that we are joining the SEC. And I said, boy, that's a really bad idea. Uh, that's like going from kindergarten to college overnight. I actually didn't know we were going to make the move, you know, at the time I hired him. And, uh, but I, I had no doubt, you know, Lance could compete with anybody anywhere. I think it was after he took the job, was here a short time, I said, Lance, <laughs> you're moving to the SEC. They're calling the logs across the Southeast Conference tonight as the University of Arkansas Board of Trustees approves the move to end a 76-year tradition. We, we did it, I think, in the room in the law school. I kind of forget where we, where we were, but I think it was in the law school. And Bev Rouse was there, and Frank was there, Roy Kramer was there, and we had faculty leaders that were there. And I think there was two things. Hey, this is a good deal, and my heavens, I'm glad it's over. Uh, Dr. Perry got up and welcomed everybody, and uh, then uh, introduced me to extend the invitation. The Southeastern Conference proudly invites the University of Arkansas to be the 11th member of the Southeastern Conference. I mean, it was an exciting time for everyone. And I remember, I remember Commissioner Kramer, you know, and his official welcome that he gave that day, welcoming Arkansas in and inviting us to join. And then the Board of Trustees making it official. And it was just, I remember the excitement. Everybody was so excited about it and, and what it meant for the future and what it would bring to us in the future. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Board of Trustees of the University of Arkansas accepts the invitation to become a member of the Southeastern Conference and looks forward to new rivalries and friendships. I think it's mutual, but I do think that the University of Arkansas brings a great deal to the table uh, as we go into the Southeastern Conference. And, and I think that we will be one of the premier universities in the Southeastern Conference, just as we were in the Southwest Conference. Well, I had to sign something at the board table, and I said, but it's not official yet, something like that. I said, it's only official when we can make this thing done. And I pulled out a hog hat that I had brought with me. And I stood up and I plopped it on Roy Kramer's face. And my memory is Roy Kramer's face went like this. He did not know it was coming. I don't think anybody else knew it was coming for that matter. To truly seal the deal, we need for Commissioner Kramer to become not just an honorary Razorback, but a Razorback. And to do that, you have to wear the hog. <laughs> unbeknown to me he comes up from behind and puts a hog head on top of my head and that picture I think got you know got worldwide coverage I think I saw it in about every paper of me standing there at the podium with a hog head on. The hog hat is famous and as are the Razorbacks as, as they should be uh, but I got all kinds of really nice pictures some from people I knew some from people I didn't know a lot of them came from Kansas City where I was raised but I'm excited and I'm encouraged about the future for our university and for our athletic department as well as our fans. I think it's been one of the most unanimous decisions that I've ever participated in. It could have been controversial. It could have been divided and it hurt our program down the way. But our call now is the one of the few percentage of people, of people that felt that we ought to stay in the Southwest Conference. We're asking them to join the bandwagon and together Arkansas will march forward. I remember at a head coaches meeting, uh, the Florida coach at the time for track and field said, John, do you realize how much money you've cost me 
by coming to join the conference because we traditionally won uh, multiple conference titles and respective bonuses and now they're all going to Fayetteville, Arkansas. It turned our basketball upside down, it really did. On the first day of the tournament, uh, when um, the Arkansas team walked into the uh, arena, the, the tournament was in Birmingham that year, it, it raised the eyebrows of the Kentucky fans because they had been the Southeastern Conference basketball and now all of a sudden, here come the Razorbacks and the Razorbacks are there in force. Towards the end of the game and all of a sudden, Right over in the tunnel where the where the athletes came in, the Razorbacks basketball team came to get ready to get on the court. And you heard this low rumble, and it started off as just a rumble. And it, it, it kind of grew. And, and I'm thinking, these are all Kentucky. And I looked over there, and all of a sudden that rumble moved from a rumble to and we called the hogs. They called the hogs that day in the, in the, at, in the Birmingham. They called the hogs all day in Birmingham. I'll tell you, up and down the streets of Birmingham and in that arena, it just echoed off the roof. And I'll tell you, it changed the scene in a hurry because our people had not heard that before. They'd heard about it and so forth, but they had not heard it in mass as they heard it uh, there. And, and I thought, yes, we're here. We did it. And all of a sudden, the, the, the SEC was well aware across the board that Arkansas was now a member of the conference. Well, there was a lot of talk in the papers, a lot of woofing going on between these two. And uh, Arkansas can say it's not bragging if you can back it up. And they did. And the game will come to a close. Nolan Richardson and his Arkansas Razorbacks with their biggest win in their brief Southeastern Conference tenure. They take command in the second half and win going away over the Kentucky Wildcats. The University of Arkansas is closer now, I believe, to the schools in the Southeast Conference after 30 years than it ever was to those schools in the Southwest Conference after, after 76 years. I think it was a conference of the past and I think the SEC was a conference of the future. The significance of this move today by Arkansas and the SEC is going to have ramifications around the country, I would guess. Well, I think it will, it will just make others think uh, that they need to move faster than before, but regardless of what Arkansas had done, I see a major upheaval around the country. I think that the times of the 90s are going to be so different that schools have got to get ready, position themselves if they want to keep up with the Joneses and be competitive. Coach Broyles was, saw what was going to happen and saw what would have happened if we'd have stayed in the Southwest Conference. You know, and I, I think he had mixed emotions, obviously bittersweet emotions on leaving because the traditions of the Southwest Conference and what it had meant to Arkansas over 70 plus some years was so important. But I think he thought, you know, for the future of Arkansas, we've got to make this jump. Frank was a visionary. He was a visionary when he was a coach, and he was a visionary when he was an athletic director. And he could see that this would bring, bring a great deal of, of national exposure as well as a significant competitive level to Arkansas athletics. And he felt that uh, this would elevate Arkansas significantly all across the board. It would make it possible for him to do some things with facilities that he had been wanting to do for quite a period of time. This gave him an added boost to get that done. This would elevate Arkansas. It elevated the SEC, I say that, but it certainly, I think, uh, I'm probably prejudiced, but I think it certainly elevated Arkansas uh, across the board in all sports. It certainly was uh, advantageous to them in football and basketball, but it, it, it was really uh, a plus for all of their other sports, which I think Frank had a great interest in. Uh, in trying to elevate them as well. This conference has been able to build this type of a competitive athletic foundation across the board and yet maintain a very loyal feeling to the conference itself. To go to a, a national competition and hear that fan base, whether it's <laughs> Arkansas or Florida or Georgia or Alabama or Tennessee, whatever it is, hear that fan base that toward the end of a game start yelling SEC, SEC, uh, brings to light 
the tremendous pride the people in this section of the country have in being a part of that conference. When we get to the championship level, we're rooting for each other to be successful. Okay, we didn't get there this year, but we're gonna get there next year. But for now, we're proud that we're a part of the conference that is winning this championship. The future really bright. I mean, I see we've got a lot of great coaches and are continuing to get more and more competitive. And you know, we're already competitive nationally across the board in all of our sports. And I think, you know, it just, it just sharpens our programs even more with the quality of the SEC. I'm not Frank Broyles. But as I look 30 years out, I see us as a national university, still competitive, still able to recruit and send students to the best graduate schools in the United States, still able to beat Tennessee both in physics and in football. I don't think the SEC is going to stop. My fellow peers in the SEC are the best of the best, and they're very hardworking, very enterprising, you know, they have great facilities across the board, so the challenge is at hand, and you never uh, sleep very long, or if you're going to take a nap, it better be short because you get past and hard.